News, live in Times Square, Monday, June 16, 2014. This is Good Morning America. Next up in the heat index, journalist Lisa Ling's shocking revelation she's been diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder at the age of 40. The former co-host of The View discovered she had the condition while doing a story about it. ABC's Mara Schiavacampo has more. Schiavacampo has more. On her show for the OWN Network, reporter Lisa Ling covers everything from criminal informants to exorcisms. But this morning, she's breaking news about herself. While working on a new piece about the explosion of ADHD diagnoses, Ling started to notice the symptoms sounded familiar. What am I supposed to do? I'm like panicking emotionally. Yeah, I know that feeling. And was soon diagnosed with ADD herself, all while cameras were rolling. I do feel like you meet all the criteria for having attention deficit disorder. Ling, a working mom and wife, says she has long suspected something wasn't right. If I'm not working, my mind goes in every direction but where it's supposed to go. I've been like that since I was a kid. So she decided to find out once and for all, undergoing nerve-wracking testing on camera. Like, I feel really stressed out right now. The evaluations show Ling does have ADD. While an estimated 15 million people are diagnosed with some form of the disorder, Ling's diagnosis at 40 is unusual. Today, the average age of a diagnosis is seven. But when Ling was young, awareness was not as common. ADD is more accepted now than it was 10, 20 years ago. People don't think of ADD in adults. The diagnosis of ADD in an adult is tremendously good news because it can dramatically change your life for the better. Your whole life can come into focus. Ling releasing this statement overnight. While the diagnosis confirmed what I had always expected, I don't feel inhibited. Rather, I feel I have more clarity. I've been fighting it and been so frustrated with this inability to focus. One reporter uncovering her own story. For Good Morning America, Mara Schiavocampo, ABC News, New York. All right, Mara, thank you very much. We're going to bring in our Richard Besser, he's back again, and just kind of because we were saying ADD earlier, now it's ADHD, right. the differences. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the same thing. The preferred term now is ADHD, but okay. it's, it's all the same thing. You know, it's, it, it, it's not surprising that an adult has ADHD. Roughly one in 25 have it. But it is surprising that she was diagnosed so late. It means that, that likely it was missed a, a, along the way. All right, so how do you know if, in fact, you should be checked for it or if you're just, like so many of us, yeah. overburdened, overburdened trying to juggle it all? Well, and, and that's that's the, the, the big challenge because everyone's going to perform better on their life if they go on an ADHD medicine, but it doesn't mean you have the disorder. Everyone? Yes. Oh, wow. I, yes. See, I thought and that's the fair. problem. That's why a lot of kids end up on this to do better in school. You can focus better on the medicine, but it doesn't mean you have the disorder. Wow. wow. Okay, so what you want to look for is, is ha people who are having trouble doing better basic tasks in their life, people who are having trouble with, with their jobs, staying focused, uh, problems with relationships, problems at home. But you have to have seen that this started during childhood. Mm. That's the key. You say it helps everyone with no side effects? No, that, that's the thing. There are side effects. Okay. These are, these, these are very strong medications. Mm -hmm. And it worries me greatly that people go on these medications and, and feel pressure to go on these medications because their lives are so busy, so cluttered that they, they, they can't keep that focus. Adderall being one of the main ones. It's in the same class of drugs as cocaine. There yeah. are real, there's addiction mm -hmm. possibilities. That's with right. This as so, well. I mean, before you just go on one of these medicines, you want to be evaluated by someone who really knows what they're mm -hmm. doing, that they have specialty in this. You know, when I see kids in my clinic and I think they have this, there's a series of questionnaires for their teachers, for their family, to see how they're functioning across the board. Here as well, you want to be talking not just to that individual, but to their spouse or partner, to their friends, to get a sense how are they focusing across, uh, across their life. Is this something that's truly ADHD? or is it someone who's just too busy and needs to, to focus down? And having the diagnosis doesn't mean you need a medicine. Okay. You know, we were hearing the story last week where where uh, the woman who won the Tony, exactly. it, she yeah. had that outlet. You know, there are behavioral Audrey. approaches to this yep. that, can, yeah. that can work very well. It's not always needing a medicine. But sometimes it is, because I remember when we did that story and we were saying, yes. how, and she was down on the medication and it's heard from a lot of parents who said, wait a minute. I see it's kids really turn yeah. their lives so around. Just, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So it just yeah. depends. Not yeah. one size yeah. fits. Yeah. Which is why it's so important that we hear from you and, and really get this important information. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. B. Pleasure. <laughs>